Hello and welcome to the very second lecture on the method of finding the inverse Laplace transform. So in the last learning video we have discussed about the how to find out the inverse Laplace transform by the method of partial fraction. Here in this learning video we are going to take the topic, the second subtopic to be precise that is the method of finding inverse Laplace transform by convolution theorem. So let us see what is this convolution theorem first and then an example on it, okay? So the convolution theorem says if L inverse of f of s is f of t and L inverse of g of s is g of t, then L inverse of f of s into g of s is equal to integration 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du, where what is this f of s? Laplace transform of f of t and what is g of s? Laplace transform of g of t. So whenever you are given a function uh, function like this and you have to solve this, uh, you have to find this inverse Laplace transform by convolution theorem. So the very first thing is you just have to write the given function f of s in terms of uh, this function, given function in terms of f of s into g of s okay or in terms of the product okay in other way round so let us start with this so how one can start with this so this is like l inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 into s square plus 1 is equal to what is it i'm going to write this one as 1 upon s plus 1 into 1 upon s square plus 1. Is this step 1 clear? Very easy. Okay. Now, L inverse, of course L inverse is equal to L inverse of. I am going to take this first function as my f of s. And the second one is my function g of s. Okay, for the better understanding, you can write where, where f of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 1 and g of s here, g of s is equal to 1 upon s square plus 1. Simple. Now, with the help of this, if f of s is this, then if f of s is this, then you can certainly find out f of t. What is f of t? f of t is L inverse of f of s. So f of t is L inverse of f of s, meaning thereby L inverse of f of s, that is L inverse of 1 upon s plus 1. And what is L inverse of s plus 1? e to the power minus 1t, or you can just simply write minus t. Likewise this, what would be my g of t? L inverse of g of s, which is same as L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1. Now, what is it? This is inverse of sine. So, 1 by a sine a t. a is equal to 1. We just need to write sine t. Any doubt up to this? If not, then we can apply the convolution theorem. So, here you can write by convolution theorem by convolution theorem what we can write we can write this product l inverse of l inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 into s square plus 1 as what is it can you help me out in writing down this integral 0 to t okay f of u f of t is e to the power minus t. So, so what is f of u? e power minus u. Simple. g of t is sine t. So what is g of t minus u? It would be just sine t minus u. Okay. Is it okay? Now, you can see here, this is uh, not easy to integrate. We can actually do it, but it is not like that easy to integrate. So what you can do is, you can interchange this. So always take the easier function to be the 
g function okay so i am going to write this one as s square and this is s so l inverse of a square plus 1 so this is sin t and i am taking g of s is this so g l inverse of this is e to the power minus t so the, as this is the very first problem i am intentionally writing this one as but now as you can see here there is some problem in solving the integration now you see integration 0 to t f of u what is my f of u sin u now things becomes simple for you okay and what is g of t e to the power minus of in place of t just have to write t minus u du now see this is very simple okay now you just have to integrate this okay now you just see here so this is l inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 into s square plus 1 okay now i'm gonna write this one as look here integration 0 to t sine u into apply law of indices so this is e to the power minus t into e to the power u du simple now this is integration with respect to u so you can certainly take e to the power minus t outside and i will write this one as e to the power minus t integration from 0 to t e to the power u into sin u du now you can make use of the special formula for this or apply the integration by parts applying the integration by parts the problem will get very lengthy and it is time consuming so i am going to make use of the special formula of this so what is it e to the power minus t 1 upon coefficient of u square 1 square 1 upon coefficient of u square 1 square simple into e to the power u as it is okay now coefficient of u 1 into function sin u minus what is derivative of sin u simple cos u limits 0 to t now i just have to put in place of u put t and in place of u put 0 so this is 1 upon 1 square 1 square is 1 by 2 e to the power t upper limit applying the upper limit e to the power t sin t minus cos t okay minus e to the power 0 that is 1 sin 0 minus cos 0 and this completes here so this is e to the power minus t by 2 what is it in bracket we have e to the power t sin t minus cos t e to the power 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so this minus minus become plus so this is plus 1 okay and this is what we have if you want you can solve it further like 1 by 2 into this gate cancel so this is 1 by 2 into sin t minus cos t okay plus you can multiply it to here e to the power minus t so this is my l inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 into s square plus 1 by using convolution theorem i am getting this to be my answer okay so i hope uh, the problem that we have taken here in this learning video is clear to you so thank you for watching and happy learning. Thank you.